Hi, this is Dirk Manuel. I just wanted to spend a minute to give you my opinion on SAP Learning Hub. Um, unsolicited, unpaid for and unfiltered. So several years ago, I needed to learn about a product called SAP Enable Now. So I went on the SAP formal courses for that in the classroom, learned what I could. And then I've discovered looking into it a bit deeper that SAP was running a few um, webinars on different aspects of SAP Enable Now. So I went to sign up for one of those and discovered that you could only access it if you had a Learning Hub license. So I went to the client I was working for at the time and asked them if they had licenses for Learning Hub. They said yes they did but they were all assigned out, their named licenses and they didn't have one to spare. So I looked into getting a license for myself and I could, surprisingly. I'd figured that maybe, you know, probably Learning Hub was the same as any other SAP product like SAP GUI or S4 HANA and basically the preserve of large corporations that buy licenses in bulk for all of their employees. But you can go and buy your own individual single license as a regular Joe, as I did. Um, it's, there are several tiers of licensing available and a consultant license will honestly cost you about 10 times the amount that a business user license, the, t the type bought by corporations typically is. Is it worth that amount of money? Watch till the end of the video and I'll let you know. So what do you get with an SAP Learning Hub license? First of all, you get access to all of their training courses or all of their training material. And this is as much as I knew about Learning Hub at the first, when I first heard about it. Um, basically, any course that SAP provides, you'll find the presentation material wrapped up as a CBT on Learning Hub. So I found the um, SAP Enable Now courses on there, the same ones that I'd attended in, in person, and went through all of that material again. Also, I needed to develop a training course in SAP Fiori, so I basically went and took the course for that to teach myself that. I'm now digging further into success factors, so I've accessed the training material for that as well. And I can basically take all of these courses as CBTs via the Learning Hub. Now, Learning Hub also tends to group courses into learning paths. So if you want to become an expert in something, it will say, here's a beginner's course, here's the one after that, and then the one after that. And that usually leads all the way through to a certification. Now, to get the certification, you also have to pay for that. And there's a separate subscription, but you're pretty much paying to get certified in one product. And it's really just the exam that you're paying for there. But I did go ahead and get the certification in SAP Enable Now because I could, and it's proven very helpful. So that's as far as all of the training material goes, which is pretty much what people know about Learning Hub. Now, a lot of the courses have hands-on exercises. If you do it in the classroom, then you've got the instructor will say, now log on to this particular test client and we'll carry out the exercises. You can also get access to those exercises via Learning Hub through a thing called um, SAP Live Access. And that basically gives you access to an environment that has data for the specific exercises for that course already created for you so you can go in there and perform those exercises albeit on your own but it's the exact same exercise that you'll carry out in the classroom. So again you need to subscribe to that particular bit of it um, but it's basically I think you get a block of 10 hours or something and you can consume those hours when you need them as you're carrying out the exercises. So there's also that. Again all on the training side of things. Now, the other things it gives you is a access to the learning room. And this is really, really useful. They're really designed to be used with the courses because you're working in isolation, carrying out these courses or following these courses on your own at home as a CBT and you've got the exercises. They're kind of set up so that people, other people taking the same course um, or suite of courses um, can basically ask questions of each other and discuss things like you would with your colleagues in a regular class. But they seem to be more around products. So there's, for example, an SAP um, Enable Now learning room, which is the one I spend most of my time in. And it is a great way to get that community as well. Um, you can ask questions in there and you will get one of the SAP experts, actual SAP people, responding and answering it. Or more often than not, you'll get someone else, um, just a, a power user or expert like myself, that will answer questions. And I spend a lot of time in there. I'm literally in there every day, checking what types of things people are asking, asking questions of my own. Honestly, I'm answering more questions than I'm asking, but it's a great way of learning stuff. 
There's a lot of information in there. You can see how other clients are using the software that you're interested in, pick up hints and tips and stuff like that. The last thing that um, Learning Hub gives you, and the thing that originally I wanted it for, was so that I could attend these webinars, um, live sessions, um, info sessions and stuff like that, which are basically hosted by the SAP experts themselves. Again, there's some great ones for Enable now. And um, basically, they will run a webinar on a certain bit of functionality, dig into it a bit more, make sure everyone knows how it works and what you can use it for. And again, you can obviously ask questions and get those things answered. If there's a new release coming up, there's going to be a um, live session for that where they'll demo the new features, explain that to you, etc., etc. And there's a lot of these sessions that happen that you need to basically access through Learning Hub. That's the way you're going to be able to sign up for them, and that's the way you're going to be able to attend them. And there's some great information that you will get out of those. So this is all over and above the learning courses that you get in Learning Hub, but they're, for me, they're absolutely one of the most valuable parts of it. So um, all of this said, you, again, you're getting the courses, you're, you've got access to live access and the certification, although, again, there's some more money to pay there. Um, but you get the learning room, which is great, and you get access to all of the, the webinars, the live sessions and things like that, um, which are absolutely indispensable. Is it worth it? Absolutely, absolutely. I've just renewed my personal license for another year. This is my third year that I'm going into now. Um, honestly, wouldn't be without it. To be able to get all of the information you need on SAP products from SAP themselves, they're very good at monetizing their knowledge, but they have great knowledge. And if you want to learn about these products, that's the best way to do it. So that was it. That was my two cents on it. Again, not, not a paid endorsement, but definitely an endorsement. So um, if you're interested in any of these products, any, basically any SAP product, see if your, um, cus if your employer has a license that they can give you. If they haven't, see about getting your own, especially if you're a consultant, because there's a lot of good information you can get out of them. That's it. Thanks for watching.